on the first walk of the day. Um, I've just got four with me. Aria's back with the pack after a season. Um, she's just past her standing days. Pod's still harassing her a bit, so I can't. I'd never leave them in a room together because I think he's going to get quite badly beaten up by her. But he's too thick to realise and get in his head just yet that she is well and truly done um, and past the peak of her season. That's pod for you. <laughs> so anyway, I thought I'd do sort of the running comparison of GSP versus Dalmatian puppies. Um, and out on walks is when you really know or really notice a big difference between a GSP and a Dalmatian. So the Dalmatians, if you look at them on a walk, they're running a lot. And they're running a lot more than they're scenting generally. I'm not saying they've done track and pick up a scent and stuff, but they are way more up for a good run than sniffing and tracking. Whereas the GSP puts her nose down and is hunting, essentially. In her mind, she's hunting. I mean, she's not come close once yet, but she is only just about five months old. I think she's like four days off being five months old, something like that. Um, so she still does run a bit on a walk. I'm not, I'm not gonna say she doesn't, but the time the Dalmatians just spend running is what she spends sending and sniffing. And the time they spend sending and sniffing is what she spends running. That makes sense. Um, still find both breeds trainable. Um, I'd probably say that she maybe picks things up quicker, but my training has got better. My timing has got better. And I clicker trained her consistently, not just one or two sessions and then just trained without the clicker. So it's hard to really say that comparison right now because I do think my training's better. I'm a better trainer um, than I was even a year ago when we had Pumpkin and Raven as puppies. So... Um, but I can't say that the Dalmatians are untrainable because they, they're very trainable. Um, so, and then she's really food orientated, just the same as the Dalmatian. Um, she starts, to, she started playing retriever games now, so she'll bring me a toy, um, I say out, she gives me the toy and then I throw it and she brings it back to me and we play that a little bit in the house. Don't play as much outside because the other dogs take more interest in a toy if it's outside and it's being thrown. Don't ask me why. But those little sort of gun dog e traits are coming out more. She started pointing a little bit um, which she should do, which the Dalmatians shouldn't do. Um, she's still got her puppy um, fur, so it's nice and shiny, actually. Um, I don't find the Dalmatian puppies shed very much. It's when they get their adult coats, they shed a lot. So I couldn't give you that comparison right now. Um, but I feel like she's going to need and want a job more than the Dalmatians will even if it is just little retrieving games um, little obedience drills um, trick training something I think she's going to want something 
um, more than the Dalmatians do because the Dalmatians are quite content to walk and then cuddle on the sofa. Um, and she is right now. I'm not going to say that she isn't, but I do feel like that'll probably change. And I think she's going to be one that doesn't mind showing. I think she's going to prefer other things. But I don't think she'll mind being shown. Um, like, she's not going to dislike it. Just think she'll find retrieving games, swimming, all that sort of stuff a lot more entertaining. Whereas, like, Nala loves being shown. She loves the one on one time with me. She loves the, all the extra treats she gets, everything like that. Um, she loves showing off. She loves showing everybody in the ring her bag. Um, her foot's healing slowly. A little luck, Nana. Oh, done limp now. Oh. So, um, you see the cut is healing. Good girl. And I just put in a little bit of anti-back spray on her. Um, she looks a fraction taller than Pumpkin. She might be the same height. Oh, sorry, banana. I walked right behind me then. It's like they're just up for a run in a game, and they. She's air scenting. She's sniffing bushes. She's sniffing the floor. She's steadier and taking in more scent. I mean, all three are in the bushes. I mean, that's not much difference. Um, and, you know, can both breeds be left? Yes. But you've got to prep them. You've got to build up the scenarios where you leave them slower, slowly, and get them ready for it and teach them that it's okay. Don't go mad when they get back. Just keep calm, keep neutral when you come back. So it's not exciting, it's not a big event that you come back because if it's a big event, they're going to wind themselves up over you coming back. So yeah, I feel like both breeds can be left. But I feel it's more the owners lacking in training and knowledge of how to leave the dogs and how to build it up. Um, and then they run into trouble. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. I think she'll see you all soon. Bye.